Sis guy, he a visionary. Rapper, NBA young boy facing 63 charges in Utah prescription drug fraud operation. Salt Lake City, Utah, KUTV. Rapper, NBA young boy on Tuesday was arrested in Utah on suspicion of multiple felonies and misdemeanors in connection to what Cache County authorities described as a large-scale prescription fraud ring. According to an arrest affidavit, Contrail Deshaun Golden, 24, also known professionally as young boy never broke again, or NBA young boy, is currently a resident of Huntsville, Utah, according to arresting documents. According to the affidavit, the Cache County Sheriff's Office began investigating Golden after he was identified as a suspect in a prescription fraud ring. The alleged scheme involved individuals calling in fraudulent prescriptions under the names of real doctors and using fake patient names and birthdays. Alleged associates of Golden would then pick up the prescriptions from various pharmacies. The affidavit recommends 63 charges against Golden, including 20 counts of identity fraud, 20 counts of obtaining a prescription under false pretenses, 20 counts of forgery, and one count each of possession of a dangerous weapon by a restricted person engaging in a pattern of unlawful activity and possession of a controlled substance. In an extensive probable cause affidavit, a Cache County Sheriff's deputy detailed the investigation, which began when a pharmacist and Hiram notified authorities that the location had received a call and prescription from a doctor through phone number didn't match, sorry, though phone number didn't match the one they had for that doctor's office. The prescription was called in by an individual claiming to be a physician in the Provo, Utah area, providing an actual valid DEA number, NPI number, and other identification for real physician according to court documents. When the actual physician was contacted, the pharmacy was notified that the fraudulent attempts to fill prescriptions had happened several times today. The report states, it wasn't the only one, though. The arrest documents list at least 15 different pharmacies in Cache County that were either involved in the alleged prescription fraud or were contacted about attempted fraudulent prescriptions. The attempt to fill the fraudulent prescriptions didn't stop when it was clear that law enforcement had become involved. Either the deputy reported, Golden, or one of his associates allegedly called the sheriff's office directly at the request of one of the pharmacies. During the investigation, I was contacted by dispatch and informed of a Gwendolyn Cox needing to speak with me. The CCSO investigator stated, I contacted Gwendolyn at the phone number that she provided dispatch. During my conversation with Gwendolyn, she gave me the last name of White. When asked for the spelling of her name, Gwendolyn only gave me her birth month and date and could not provide her age to me. The person who contacted authorities could not provide her local address and the deputy reported that it was very clear that a fake voice was being used. According to affidavit, Gwendolyn sounded as though she was a much younger male from Southern states. Gwendolyn made a statement, well, I asked her to and she did that she'll have you call me. The statement was a response to a request that was made to have Gwendolyn contact dispatch and have them transfer her call back through I have lived in Southern United States, the terminology replacing the word ask with X or other variations is consistent with a Southern dialect in such, I mean, the states such as Texas, Louisiana, Georgia, and other Southern states. During the course of the investigation, multiple additional arrests were made when Golden's vehicle was identified as being allegedly involved in a fraudulent prescription pickup and was pulled over. The occupants were arrested and marijuana, a weapon, multiple bottles of prescriptions were reportedly found inside. Golden, though, wasn't. The reporting deputy was able to make contact with him later via conference call according to court records, at which time Golden said the people in the vehicle were his family and they had permission to use it. The conversation continued with Kentrell Golden for a duration of time and Kentrell Golden made a statement determined to be an excited utterance. The probable cause states later noting that the investigator suspects Gordon thought he was on mute at the time. This statement was made without asking a related question. Ask him about um, the prescription that they picked up. This utterance was made with no questions asked regarding any prescriptions being picked up throughout the call, throughout the phone call, pardon me. According to the report, the utterance shows both knowledge by Control Garden about the fraudulent prescription being attempted to get picked up. Investigators obtained a search warrant for his home where they found more prescriptions and weapons. His electronics were also seized, but Garden reportedly refused to provide passcodes, telling the reported deputy 
Take it and break it according to the report. The affidavit alleges the rising rap star and YouTube sensation was no stranger to criminal activity. Control Gordon has participated in an ongoing criminal enterprise that has been involved in the commission of multiple felonies. Control has been involved in an alleged enterprise while under house arrest and being supervised by federal probation under pretrial status for a fire, I mean federal firearms case being prosecuted out of Louisiana. A handgun was found inside of Control's closet and he admitted to the handling of the firearm two days later. According to the FBI, Control is the known leader of a violent gang from the Louisiana base, I mean Louisiana area, based on Control's history. It's apparent that he is prone to violence based on the totality of the circumstances. A Nobel hold is requested to be placed on Control, pending a detainer be obtained by federal prosecution from his, I mean, for his current case. Gordon was booked into the Cache County Jail on suspicion of one count of second degree felony possession of a dangerous weapon by a restricted person, one count of second degree felony pattern of unlawful activity, 20 count of third degree felony identity fraud 19 counts of third degree felony forgery 19 counts of class a misdemeanor procuring or attempted to procure prescriptions and one count of class b misdemeanor possession of marijuana news students currently investigating additional information gleaned from a probable cause affidavit and will have continuing coverage throughout well control is bad and in all candor it's more than likely over Forgery, prescription pills, you having the gun in your closet. It's one of those things where it's like, we can give you the tools to survive, but we know you're going to collide. When you give them what they want, they don't know what they don't. Meaning, that nigga was done, bruh, the moment that he got comfortable. The moment he got comfortable, it was over. And we could all sit up here and, and blame so many people. Yeah, bro, why was your homies there and all of that? And why was you helping them? You should have told them no. You should have been doing this. You should have been doing that and all this stuff. And then you told people, you know, you, you, you posted certain pictures and stuff like that and everything. And it was bad. And it was horrible. And we had to sit there and watch you as you crash and burn. What? what, what? Honestly, let me, let me ask you and be a young boy fan something. Why should you care now? You know, one of the things about addicts that people always have a problem with is when you love them more than they love themselves, when you care way more than they care about themselves, when you think of better moves and all they can do is think of detrimental ones. So I want everybody that hears this to understand something. NBA young boy, Contrell Golden, or Contrell Deshaun Golden, can only blame himself. You can't blame no white man, no black man, no hood, anything. This is a person who believes in their heart of hearts. They are better than what they are. Now, what certain things and remedies he could take to essentially beat this? He could say, I never talked to that officer. I never heard from that officer. I don't know what the hell that officer got going on. All right, you can try that. But what you can't do is excuse the gun. What you can't do is sit up here and get rid of certain things called the probable cause. We sat there and we looked at this dude laid out next to a pill bottle with pills all on the ground. And we thought it was props. And we laughed about it because we thought this little dude was funny. Hey, man, he just messing with the feds. And it turns out he was just stupid. And the feds didn't find that funny. They was watching. So... Let's look at the grand scheme of things. He will be hit with a federal recall. Count on it. They're going to be federal because them, none of them niggas, none of them, none of their licenses, none of their IDs say Utah. Now let's take it a step further. Who told? His homies did. His homies told. His homies did that. Not on purpose, but sometimes when you out here and you're doing what you're doing, bro, you screw yourself over. I would like to believe that damn, bro, these are some young dudes messing up. They got power. They got money. They got women. They got all this stuff. But sometimes, bro, thank God for unanswered prayers. Because this shit right here, whew. It's terrible.
So let me y'all thoughts though, bro. Be curious to know what y'all think. All right, man, so y'all know we just hit a 1,000 subs. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help us out, help us out. I'll catch y'all at the 10,000 sub mark. New video will drop then. We out you.